Hello transport nerds! Before I get into today's review, I wanted to let you know that finally, after a very long wait, the next Bus Week series will be out on Monday. With a range of new electric buses making their way onto the market, I thought it would be good to go and check out a few of them with a new Green Bus Week series. So that starts Monday and you really won't want to miss it. So let's get on with today's review. You join me at Katoomba to check out a Scania K280UB with a custom CBAD body from Blue Mountains Transit. I travelled out to the Blue Mountains a couple of months ago for a very long day trip and caught a few trains and buses around Mount Victoria, Katoomba and Wentworth Falls. Whilst I had tons of fun, I was absolutely exhausted and I will think about sticking to a trip to the Blue Mountains being an overnighter rather than a day trip. Let's jump on board this bus. The first thing I noticed about it was this seat fabric. Does it look familiar to any regular Thompson's bus passengers? I always thought that this pattern was a custom design for Thompson's, but here it is on a Blue Mountains bus, looking subtle but without being bland which really should be more common trait for public transport interiors. All of the Blue Mountains Transit Scania K280 UBs were painted in the Transport for New South Wales livery, delivered in 2011 or 2012, and are based at the Katoomba Depot. Like many CB80 buses from an earlier period, these still have the round wireless bells, which look good, but often didn't work that well. Fortunately, these ones were pretty good and didn't let me down when I wanted to get off at the Three Sisters lookout stop. Being a K280UB, this bus has 280 horsepower and 1400 newton meters of torque, all delivered through a ZF box. It offers decent performance for climbing mountains. Although, this one does seem to have a very odd whir to it, so let's have a listen now. The 686 service is not a long trip, only taking 25 minutes to complete the entire loop, but there are tighter streets, poorly parked cars, and tourism traffic to deal with, and the K280UB seem to cope with it very well indeed. The 686 is also a great alternative to driving around Katoomba, and judging by this trip, it's a very underutilised option.
And as I was only heading out to Echo Point, which is just a 10 minute ride from Katoomba, this really was a short journey on board, but a pleasant one. It would be interesting to see how this bus performs on a longer run, like the 690, to see how it goes climbing up the Great Western Highway. Still, as the lookout is front and centre, it's time to press that bell and get ready to hop off the bus. So I can go and admire the beautiful view. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again on Monday for the start of Green Bus Week.